Hello and greetings from Iceland. Icelandic Met Office published this map of the lava fields, which tell tell us where the lava went and how much it spread around. As you see, most of the lava spreading took place in the first four days of the eruption, starting August 22nd to August 26th. This is the purple uh, field. Uh, and after that uh, there was very little activity and uh, for now you see uh, you see 1st of September where the lava was was going only to the north and very far from the highway significant distance from both roads the black thing here to the top is the Keplavik highway and uh, the other road here uh, to the left is Grindavik road uh, or Blue Lagoon Road, as we call it. So the lava is very far away uh, from both roads, and it's unlikely to reach it uh, at any time soon, uh, well, er, at all, because the eruption is almost dying there. There is very little activity in the craters. From what I saw today, uh, it's limited to two cones, which look like they are in the last days of the eruption, perhaps another week or some days but i doubt it will last longer from the way uh, how the volcano looks like it reminds me a little router on the last days of its eruption so uh, this uh, looks like it's gonna to be rather brief eruption though it's too early to say now uh, time will show but that's my bet and guess that it's likely to go off next days this is my latest video from the eruption site from the night before yesterday when my, when I went there with two friends of mine. We were in Arna Setter filming this. It was very strong winters, you know. And as you see from the from that location, um, you couldn't see the opening of the crater because it's kind of more to the south, southwest of the cone. And that's how we look at... Uh, the night before yesterday now it's similar or even less activity uh, the Icelandic Met Office in its uh, latest update which was published today uh, reports that in the last few days neither the land rise or land subsidence has been recorded in Svartsengi it indicates that the inflow into the magma Seal area under Svartsengi is comparable to the flow from the volcanic eruption. In order to say that the land rise has started again, you have to watch the development of measurements for several days. This is because changes between days can occur due to various effects, for example, moisture content in the atmosphere or solar storms. Two vents are now active in the eruption that began on August 22nd, although, although the power of the eruption has somewhat decreased in the last few days. The lava spread north of the crater continues to expand, but the rate of spread has slowed significantly. At the moment, lava flows do not threaten infrastructure in the vicinity of the eruption centers. The decrease in seismic activity also tells us that the eruption power is dwindling down. And earthquake activity around Sunnukur crater has decreased considerably in the last few days. Most of the small earthquakes that are measured are in the north of the fissures that was active at the beginning of the eruption. Uh, I uh, will also go over the risk uh, assessment map of the area. There are some changes in that as well. There is lots of um, steaming taking place uh, next to Silengafat where the eruption started though. As you see. And this is the latest update to the risk assessment map of the area. As you see, zone 5 is not in danger, in danger area anymore. It's orange, moderate risk. I will read over 
uh, from the update on that from Icelandic Met Office. Icelandic Met Office has updated the risk assessment based on the evolution of the eruption and it remains valid until September 5th. The main changes are that Zone 5 goes from higher risk red to moderate risk orange. The reason for that is that there is, it is not considered to be as much um, dangerous area, especially when it comes to pyroclastic emissions from the eruption. The risk of gas pollution is assessed based on the weather forecast for the next few days for each area. Another change to the map is that areas 3, 5 and 6 have been expanded by 2 kilometers to the northeast. The change is made for two reasons. Firstly, because the lava bed um, that has been formed in this eruption has extended beyond the previous boundaries of the areas. Second, to take into account the magma tunnel that formed on August 22nd extended further to the northeast than Zone 3 did previously. Uh, uh, the weather uh, watch, watch's prediction of the distribution of gas is northwesterly winds at the eruption centers today on uh, September 3rd uh, and air pollution will reach to the southeast uh, the southerly direction is tomorrow Wednesday air pollution reaches to the north and could be felt uh, uh, in the northern part of Reykjanes tomorrow. Those are the latest updates from Iceland. Be well, God bless, all the best.